Today, finally, we're going to be talking about slow motion effects. And since Power Hour happens to be a video made entirely of slow motion effects, that's what we're going to be looking at. The single most important thing for slow motion effects is you need to have a camera that can shoot 60 frames a second. Luckily, most cameras can do this, but you're going to need to check your manual to see how to turn it on for your particular camera. And the way we do our slow motion is that we film our action at 60 frames a second, and then we edit at 24 frames a second, which gives you smooth 40% slow motion. Now sometimes we want to go slower like in Power Hour, which means that we need to use the time remap feature in After Effects. Now I'm not going to go over how to specifically do time remapping because Andrew Kramer over at Video Copilot happens to have a really good tutorial on this already, so check the link in the description if you want a step-by-step -step tutorial. The smaller the changes in your shot between frames, the more accurately After Effects will be able to interpret those in between frames. This means shooting at a high shutter speed, at least 1 over 100 if possible, and keeping your camera on a tripod. 60p has its limits too. We found that fast human motion like fist pumping is about as far as you can push the speed of your subject for good frame interpolation results. Also keep your camera on a tripod and try and shoot your subject against smooth colored backgrounds which can help eliminate some of the artifacting. But even better than smooth colored backgrounds is no background at all. So for Power Hour we shot everybody individually against the green screen and then keyed out the green screen before doing any frame interpolation so the program wouldn't see the background when it's analyzing the footage to slow it down. This lets us get pretty extreme with our slow motion so for Power Hour we were shooting at 60 frames a second but we slowed down at up to 480 frames a second using frame interpolation to fill in the in-between frames. So if you want really extreme slow-mo you might consider green screening your subject and then putting him back into the scene. The background is just a huge Photoshop file that we zoomed out of and animated layers like the clouds behind it. This is sped up so you can see the movement of the background elements. Then we took all the things we shot individually on green screen and arranged them using After Effects 3D layers. Which means, by the way, now that I think about it, we could actually re-release Power Hour in 3D. That's actually a pretty good idea.